Hi YouTube, Smurf here. Today I'm going to be talking about a program by PTC called Creo Parametric 2. I'm going to be covering what is it, what's it used for, where do you get it, and how do you use it. More specifically for today, I will be talking about what is it and what is it used for. So what is it? Creo Parametric 2 by PTC is a 3D modeling software. What is that supposed to mean? What it means is that you can create 3D images of objects, of non-virtual objects. And what's so special about that? Well, so that way then you can prototype uh, machines, pieces of wood, cutouts, etc. It's not limited to still moving 3D renditions of things. So let's say you want to make a car and automate that car within your computer. You can do that with Creo Parametric 2. So, what is Creo Parametric 2 used for? Well, it's used to make prototypes within your computer. Virtual 3D renditions of an object that you want to make or use or, you know, somewhere down the line actually touch in real life. Why is that important? Well, it gets down to more of within the business world. It saves money. It saves time. How does it save money? Well, it saves money by you ha not having to make so many small prototypes for uh, each person to see or touch or feel or kind of make their own to edit it for themselves. With the virtual thing, you can just, hey, put it on a flash drive, send it through an email, maybe, kind of depends on the size, but nonetheless, you can get it to multiple people very easily, very quickly, very efficiently. Now how does it save time? Well, it saves time by making it easier to make things than in the real world. So not only does it save you time through not having to make something in the real world, but it also saves you money from not having to pay for the materials for the real world objects. Since it saves, it saves time, then it also saves even more money because they're not paying people to do those said things. And those said things are making the th actual non-virtual prototypes for multiple people. That's what Creo is used for. But then why would any average Joe want to use it? Well, it would also help you save time. And while your time isn't necessarily worth money, it definitely is precious to you. Because as you know, if you talk to any old person, time, life is short, and you don't want to waste a second of it, so why not try to optimize it while learning a new skill that could even help you later on in business, or if you're kind of already up there in the years, eh, knowledge is knowledge. Knowledge is amazing, the smarter you are, kind of the more respected, not all the time, but yes, that's what it's used for, that's what it's used for. That's what is it. And that's all for today. Bye, YouTube.